In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy a Nux3 project onto a live server, specifically hosting a, but the same principles can be used on any hosting. Uh, all instructions can be found on codinggoblin.com. Link will be in the description. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go into our hosting uh, account, log in. I'm gonna have to blur all that out and go to websites and create a new website. So go here. I'll be blurring all that, but you'll be able to see this. Create or migrate a website. So click that, and then we're just gonna go through these steps. We're gonna skip, we're gonna go into skip that one, create an empty website, and now we're gonna use a previous domain. This depends on how you're doing it. If you have a domain elsewhere, you, this is how you would do it as well, and if you have it in hosting as well. But I'm gonna basically use one I do have in hosting, but I'm gonna make a subdomain. So I'm gonna call it front end and it's dot website goblin dot com continue and then we just it's like a wizard you're just gonna go through and do what it says using an existing domain so it's now kind of added it to hosting her so continue so if you used it from an external provider you'd have to go and change your dns uh with them and point it out hosting her but that's not what this video is about it's just about getting you deployed so we're going to connect it so do that see what happens Oh, okay. I don't know why it's going to do that. I think it is connected for me anyway. But if you using it from a different provider, this is what you do now. And you select it here uh, or do other. Okay. And it will take you through the instructions. So we should be all set up. So I'm going to go into manage site and just see what happens. Because I, as I said, I do have this domain with hosting. So it should work. Okay. So if we click here, hopefully we see... Yeah, and you can see it says not secure there. It will do an SSL for you automatically. It's doing it probably in the background right now, but that's not the point of this video. So what we need to do now is connect to our website via FTP. So we're in our hosting a H panel, they call it. I'm guessing that's because it would be C panel, but it's hosting a good, good pun there. So now go to files in this left menu and then go FTP accounts. And then you're gonna to have to use these details to connect to your website via an FTP client. Uh, so I use FileZilla, so let me just open that up. And we're basically gonna just copy and paste these uh, credentials in. So let's have a look. So hostname, that. Paste it in, username is that. Password. Let's come back to that in a second, but the port is 21. Probably don't have to put that in, but just do it anyway. Password, probably been set already, but just change it. Well, if you don't know what it is, just change it. I'm gonna, because I don't know. Change password. And now we can put that in there. Hopefully I did that right. Yeah, okay, and now we can see we're in this public directory. And you see there's this default file here, which if we have a little look at it, is that, and that is what we see here on this default page, okay? And there's our SSL sorted now. So if we make changes to this file, they'll show up there, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, right, so next thing we need to do is go into our Nuxt application. So this is how it's looking currently. This is in a development environment on localhost. So if we just stop our development server down here and we need to run a command, which is, let's have a look, quick look at the instructions. This is what we've done so far. We've connected, blah, 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 blah. We just need to run this command here, npx nuxi generate. So we'll run it in the root of our nux project. And what's gonna happen is, there's gonna be a new directory up here called dist. And essentially, we're gonna just drag all of the contents of this new dist directory into our public um, folder on our live site. So let's just wait while that's doing that. I don't know how long it's gonna be, so fast forward it. Okay, that's done. So now we've got this dist directory here. So if we go back to our FTP, um, we can delete that default, delete 
is that don't need it and now make sure you're in your nux project on this left hand panel here which i am and we're going to go into this new this and just highlight it everything and drag it in and that's just going to upload and now with a bit of luck when that's done yeah it's done bit of luck let's go to our website and there we go there it is that's weird why has that happened oh yeah that's very useful that that happened actually because something to remember you need to go into your wordpress um back end and make sure that this site address url which is in settings general you need to make sure that's pointing at your front end so I need to actually change this to front end dot website dot com. Save that. Now I should have done that before and so actually we're gonna just generate that again. I'll fast forward it, don't worry. So that's now done again. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna delete all of those files on the live server, delete, yes. Now go back into our dist and drag them back across. And with a bit of luck, that will be working correctly now. So go back to front and yeah, and so that was working for now, hopefully. Click on that. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so that's how you do it. Um, that is how you deploy your Nuts free application to a live server, specifically hosting it. But it's the same concept for any server, really, any static hosting. Uh, it's like just the standard hosting. So yeah, if you like the video, please like it. Um, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel if you found it useful. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.